Hi, my name is PJ Matavish, and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So we're continuing on with short questions, and we're on the 2013 paper. Uh, this is ordinary level, section A, question A2. So the 3D graphic below shows a toast or one rectangular opening on its top surface. The drawn on the right shows a plan and a partially completed perspective view of a similar toaster. Complete the perspective drawn of the toaster. So look at the drawn. They're giving you 3D of a toaster. They're practically giving you the answer here in perspective of what you want to do. They've got the plan of the toaster and they've started off the perspective. So I'm just going to zoom in on the perspective because it is uh, a badly laid out drawn because it's very small inside here, it's hard to work with. So we're just going to zoom in on that. Okay, now I'll zoom in a bit closer later on, but we'll focus on what they've given you so far. So they've given you the corners here, so that's the slope there. So this is, if we label them, now I'm going to label them with pencil because the marker might be too thick. So this is point, we say this is point uh, zero, this is point one, and then we go over here. So this is point zero, this is point one, and that goes over to two, and this is three. So they're giving you a zero and one, that's slope surface here. What you need to put in is point two and three. So point one is going to the right hand side, so just like the ground line here, it's going to vanish over to VP2. So this is your perspective question, so everything has to be horizontal lines have to draw back to either VP1 or VP2. Okay, so point two is on that line somewhere. And they've actually brought down point two for you, so if you join your point on your plan to your spectator in here, where it cuts the picture plane, bring that down at the angle, and where they meet, this is right here, this is point number two. Alright, draw that straight down to find the edge there at the back. Now to find point three to get that slope, so zero joins back to the vanishing point, point three will be on that line somewhere. This is point number two back in there. So what they did with point two, repeat with point number three. So join point number three down to the spectator where that cuts the picture plane, that's what PP stands for here, that's your picture plane, so where it cuts here, I need to project it down same angle as all these other projection lines. So if you set up your set square, and set up your second one and slide it over, we can project point three down now to where it should be in our perspective view. So it's down along here, and it's on that zero line, so this here has to be point number three. Now I can join point two and three together. And that's giving me the slope at the back. So this slope here to the tree, that's the back of or the right hand side of the toaster. Now tree, if you look here, tree joins back to the back there. So if I join tree, it's going to the left, so tree must vanish back to VP1. Okay, so it's vanishing back there to VP1. The corner here joins up to the same corner that's vanishing over there. So this right here is the back end, back side corner, okay? The back left corner. Now, after that then we have to do this rectangular slot at the top. So if we label these points A, B, C, and D. All right, so A, B, C, and D. We already have A, we already have B. Now we have to find C and D. So B will vanish back to VP2. So will A. So you can bring them back. Because I've put in A and B for you already. Bring point C down to the picture plane. Or sorry, down to the spectator. Wherever it crosses the picture plane, which is right and tight here, we need to project down. C crosses the picture plane here, bring that straight down, this is point C here, project that back to the back, sorry to VP1, I'll give you part D. Now I'm going to zoom in on that before drawing in strong. Okay, so there you can see we have A, B, C here, and that's D, okay? So draw the outline in strong, and then you draw that rectangle in strong. So that's what I mean there. See, it's awful tight at the top there. Uh, 
to try and finish that off in strong. So it's poorly enough laid out. But that is the perspective question done. Remember, everything has to go through vanishing points. Whether it's if it's going to the left, it needs to project back to VP1. If it's going to the right, it needs to go to VP2. Okay, and it's a nice little question once you do view them. So I hope that helped. If it did, leave a like and if don't forget to subscribe to see more of these videos. Okay, thank you and good luck. Thank <music> you.